Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at the Merit Shock Bluetooth speaker. This thing is very, very impressive. You'll see. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's get started. So here we go. Here is the little shock speaker. Here is the box that it comes in, and I'll go ahead and open this up for you. Just so you can see what comes with it. Inside of the box, you receive two cables. One is a USB to micro USB cable for charging. Another is a micro USB to auxiliary audio cable. You can use this cable to hook up to your phone or your device if you don't have Bluetooth, and you can still have audio going from your device to the speaker itself. Next up, you have a very soft string lanyard. You also have a rain bonnet, so you can keep this thing nice and dry when you're out biking, hiking, whatever you're doing. Lastly, you have this mount, so you can hook this up to your bike, put it on the handlebars, and basically what you do is simply unscrew this in the back, and then put it around the handlebar, put it back, and screw it on. So once you have this on the handlebars, you just simply take your speaker, pop it in like so, and you're ready to go. So my friends, here's the speaker, here's the shock. Let me go ahead and show it off to you. As you can see here, very nice plasticky, rubberized sort of finish. It feels good in the hands, and there's also a good weight to it. On the back side, you do have this rubber ring so that when you put it down on a table, it does not scooch around. Here on the sides, you have a power button. You also have dual purpose switches. You have audio up, audio down, and track forward, track back. I'll show you how those work in just a moment. One thing I really like about this is that it has a memory card slot for a micro SD card. So if you could put your music on your card, you could pop it right in here and you're ready to go. You have the micro USB charging port right there, and you have a mic right here. Now, as I mentioned, this is a Bluetooth device, and you could connect this and pair this with just about any device out there, tablets, phones, so on. If your device does not have Bluetooth, you can use this USB to auxiliary cable. Also, as mentioned, you do have this rain bonnet, which I will show you. So as you can see there, it goes over the speaker to protect it from the rain. Now, personally, I would not trust this really to protect my device. You do have this hole in the back. So if it's a deluge, it's really raining, that thing's gonna fill full of water. So personally, I would not use it. Also, I don't like this color blue at all especially when the speaker is green. So, eh, that's not very impressive in my book. What I would do though, and what I have done, is just simply take this and drop it inside of a Ziploc bag. It's fantastic. This thing is so loud that you can put it in a Ziploc bag. You can also put it inside of your backpack and you'll hear it for miles around. And you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. What I have here is my iPhone and I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with the speaker. So, first thing that I'm gonna do is just simply Turn it on, you just hold down the button, and as you can see there, that blue light starts flashing, starts blinking. Now I'm gonna go into the settings menu, I'm gonna go into Bluetooth, and I'm gonna turn it on. Hopefully you guys can see that. And what do you know, there's the Merit speaker. We'll connect to it. And now we're connected, we're ready to go. As soon as you're connected, you will hear a confirmation noise from the speaker. Now I am sure you want to hear just how loud this thing is. Go ahead and get ready because I want to do just that. Now since this is YouTube, I can't play any music tracks for you because the Google bots, they'll find it. But what I can do is play a little bit of a documentary for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Sometime after sunset. Okay. Let's crank it up. To turn up the volume, you simply hold down the button. If you press the button one time, it'll switch tracks. have been banned in Afghanistan, but these men were honored guests. Osama bin Laden and his Al Qaeda faithful were this there to watch the horror of 9 11 unfold. What Al Qaeda called the Manhattan Raid. So the West invaded Afghanistan. There was a belief it could be done quickly uh, with a very light footprint. Uh, we could be in and we could be out again. 
and we ended up uh, doing neither one thing nor the other. Instead, 47 nations, America and Britain especially, have been sucked ever deeper into a quagmire. Oh, I used to ask myself every time I went to Afghanistan, what are we doing here? In the first of three programs marking 10 years of war in Afghanistan, I've been examining some of the key decisions that have... So, as you can see, this thing gets super duper loud. Now, since I can't play any music tracks for you, what I can do is play some music that I typically use with my YouTube videos since they are allowed. So let me see here, let me pull up the YouTube app. I am gonna play the Night Hike and Q&A session, part five. This thing has impressive bass as well. So as you can see here on the front, that is a button. You can play, and you can pause, and you can also answer the phone. So to play it, you just tap it. Part four, I believe it is. It might be part five, can't remember. And to pause it, you just tap again. Now if you're using this device and you get a phone call, you can just tap that button. It has that mic right there. You can talk away. Now, when it comes to sound quality, this thing is amazing. It's very, very clear. The treble's great. The bass is great. As you can see, I have it on a stool right here. And when I play this music, you can feel the bass pushing into the floor. You can actually feel the floor vibrating. So we'll play this one more time. I can feel it. I mean, it's impressive. It really is. You could feel that bass pumping into the floor. If you decide to pick one of these up, I promise you, it will impress you, especially the first time that you use it. So my friends, let's go ahead and go over the stats of this little speaker. This is the Merit Shock Mini Wireless Portable Bluetooth Speaker. You can find this on Amazon for $31.99. And really, for the quality of this, I would expect to pay a whole lot more. It really is that impressive. It comes in three colors, and as you can see, this is green, but there's also a blue and white version and a red and white version. This has a built-in amplifier, so you can crank it up super loud, and it pumps out 360 degree, very clear audio. And I promise you, it will ring through the neighborhood if you really crank it up. The best thing about this speaker is that it has an integrated battery, so you can charge this on your computer, on your cell phone charger, whatever, and the battery life will last up to 10 hours. Very impressive indeed. Now, so far, I have carried this for about 10 hours worth of hiking, and I have to say that I absolutely love this speaker. And anytime that I go out with my friends or my brother, we like to listen to documentaries about serial killers, all sorts of crazy stuff. And really, when you're carrying the phone, not only do you have to carry it, for one thing, that's kind of aggravating, but there's no phone out there that's really loud enough that can produce enough volume that you can hear it clearly when you're walking through brush, stepping on leaves. With this speaker right here, you definitely can. Everybody asks me, hey, did you bring the speaker? And that's because this thing works so incredibly well. It is incredibly loud. And like I said, it has really good bass. The battery life, according to my estimates, was right about nine and a half hours in very cold temperatures, all the way from like 30 down to 20 degrees. So their claim of 10 hours of battery life is pretty right on. I'd say in warmer conditions, 
it would last at least 10 hours, possibly longer. When it comes to controlling the device, it's very simple. You could pause and play by tapping that button. You could switch tracks by pushing on these two buttons right here, up and down, forward and reverse. Or if you want to turn up the volume, you just simply hold it and the light on the front will start flashing. You do have the power button right here. Very simple. Now, it should be mentioned that this thing has a little bit of heft to it. This is six and a half ounces. So, I mean, it's enough to know that it's there. And when usually when I'm out and about, I will have my Hill People chest rig on, and I will just simply connect that to one of the D-rings right there and run it like that. Absolutely perfect. You can put this on your pants, whatever you want to do. You can also stick it inside of your backpack, and you will hear it, I promise you. I've carried this during a number of rainstorms and I put it inside of a Ziploc bag and then put it inside my backpack and have my shell over top of it all and you can still hear this thing from like miles around. It really is loud. The fit and finish of this device is very, very nice. I like the feel. It feels rugged. It doesn't feel like it's going to tear up on you anytime soon. I think this bonnet, again, is worthless. You're better off just using a Ziploc bag in my opinion for $31, $32. I'm impressed, no doubt about it. So my friends, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys around. Take care, strength and honor.